It, literacy, reading in particular, but literacy overall, uh, is the focus for our school system. It is a large part of our strategic plan. Um, and for us, it's our area of focus. It is the thing that we um, put our values on, our, our resources to, um, and, a, and a lot of our attention is making sure that we have strong literacy um, in all of our schools, all, for all of our students, pre-K through 12. Um, I think that every child should know literacy because it helps them when they want to write a story. I think they should know the beginning, the middle, and the ending. And um, I think they should know how to write. It's important to be a reader because like, if you want to have a good job, you have to read. And it's really important to read because reading can take you really far in life. We have to be able to read. To do anything in society, we have to be able to have the foundation of reading so we can understand, so we can understand what's going on in the world, so we can understand math, science, social studies. So reading is the foundation of everything, and it just opened up the doors to unlimited possibilities for our boys and girls if they learn how to read. Um, and we've got to tackle literacy, and we've got to tackle reading um, to really address the achievement gap that exists in Tuscaloosa. Reading serves as the foundation for all of learning. We know that um, students learn to read before third grade, but after that they have to be able to read to learn. So without that core foundation um, skill, um, the learning that takes place in upper elementary, middle, and high school um, is tough for a child who cannot read at high levels. Read by third grade, yes. Um, our goal is just to have all our students read by third grade. One of the things that we're really focused on here in Central Elementary this year is the five areas of reading, which are phonics, phonemic awareness, vocabulary, fluency, and text comprehension. The teachers have bought into the idea. Um, the system is going in a different direction right now, which is great. But one thing for the last three years, our teachers have been teaching out of the box. And we've been encouraging them to teach out the box, do something different. At the beginning of the year, one of, one of the challenges about first grade is that they come in knowing a lot of words. So in first grade, it was our job to take those words and to put them into sentences and teach them how to read those sentences and turn those sentences into stories. And so that's where we work on the vocabulary, that we make the connection with the phonemic awareness, the phonics, vocabulary, the fluency, and it takes comprehension. So those five components they build on top of each other, they build that model student that will be reading by third grade. We're doing reading in our classes, very fun. You get to learn a lot of things like literary elements and stuff, character, plot, and setting. And it really helps you learn some things. Students are expected to do really well because the teachers are really good and like they teach everything that you need to know. And, um, and you're expected to do a good job here at this school. Our teachers are awesome. We have incredible teachers in, in every one of our schools. Um, they do move the needle for our children. They do improve our, our students' ability in reading and math and all other areas. I think, I think to get everybody involved, we have to build a community approach. And so we have to make sure we don't go at the approach of saying it's just the school's responsibility or the teacher's responsibility for reading or just the parent's responsibility. It's really all our responsibility. We've got to look at um, where needs are not being met from birth to pre-K. And then certainly in pre-K, we're fortunate in the Tuscaloosa City Schools to serve approximately 450 students in pre-K, which is great, but, we, but that's in and of itself not enough. That we've got to look at this as a collective impact where our entire community and our schools, our churches, our businesses work collectively to address the, the reading gap um, that, that exists from birth all the way to third grade.